we can sketch the graph of y equals sine of x by plotting many points. At x equals 0, y is sine of 0 is 0, so 0, 0 is on the graph. As x increases to pi over 2, y goes to 1, so the graph rises to pi over 2, 1. As x increases to pi, y goes back to 0, so the graph falls to pi 0. As x increases to 3 pi over 2, y goes to negative 1, so the graph continues to fall until 3 pi over 2, negative 1. And as x increases to 2 pi, y goes to 0, and so the graph rises to 2 pi, 0. And since sine is a periodic function, the graph repeats, and we end up with duplicates of this fundamental period. Now, since this is a graph, all of our graph transformations can still be applied, but we give some of them new names. So what we used to call a horizontal shift is also called a phase shift. And if we had a vertical stretch factor of k, we're going to call that the amplitude. So, for example, let's try to sketch the graph of y equals sine of x with a phase shift of pi, and then write the equation. So, remember, phase shift is just another word for horizontal translation. So, as with horizontal translations, a positive number corresponds to a shift to the right. So, the phase shift of pi, this is a horizontal shift of pi to the right. So we'll start with the graph of y equals sine of x, shift by pi units to the right. And our equation with a horizontal shift of pi will become or maybe we want to have a vertical stretch. So let's have a vertical stretch by a factor of 3 and find the equation and the amplitude. So the amplitude is the same as the vertical stretch factor, 3. So we'll start with a graph of sine of x and stretch this vertically by a factor of 3. And that vertical stretch has the same effect as it would on any other function. The new equation is y equals 3 sine of x. So one important transformation is the following. Let's take the graph of y equals sine of x and do a phase shift of minus pi over 2. Since the phase shift, I mean horizontal translation, is negative, we're shifting to the left by pi over 2 units. And so our equation will be Now, notice that our equation gives us the sine of a sum, and if we use the sine of a sum identity, we can simplify. And remember, cosine of pi over 2 and sine of pi over 2 have particularly nice values, so this simplifies further to cosine x. And this leads to a useful observation. The graph of y equals cosine x is the graph of y equals sine x shifted to the left by pi over 2. So what if you want to determine the equation of a graph? It helps to consider a single sine wave. Now some of the key features of that sine wave, one wave stretches from, well, say 0 to 2 pi. The low point is at y equals minus 1, and the high point is at y equals 1. The wave rises from 0, 0, reaches its top at pi over 2, 1, and falls through pi 0 until 3 pi over 2, negative 1, then rises again until 2 pi 0. And so if you consider these to be the basic features of the sine wave, we'll try to match the features of the graph to the features of the sine wave. For example, let's say the graph shown is a horizontal translation of y equals sine of x. 
Let's find the equation and then find the corresponding equation using cosine of x. So remember that on the graph of y equals sine of x, the graph rises through the point 0, 0. On the graph shown, the graph rises through the point pi fourths 0. And this suggests we shifted the graph of y equals sine of x to the right by pi fourths units. So we'll make that our first transformation. If we shift the graph of y equals sine of x to the right by pi fourths, we get the graph of y equals sine of x minus pi fourths. What if we wanted to describe this as a transformation of the graph of cosine x? We might begin with the graph of y equals cosine x. And notice the graph of y equals cosine x falls through the point pi halves 0. But on the graph shown, the graph falls through the point 5 pi fourths 0. And this suggests we shifted the graph of y equals cosine of x to the right by 3 pi fourths. And so alternatively, we could shift the graph of y equals cosine x to the right by 3 pi fourths to get the graph of y equals cosine of x minus 3 pi fourths.